Okay, so this coronavirus is probably going to be leaving us real soon, honestly. Um, I don't think this coronavirus is as serious as a lot of people are making it out to be. But for those of you out there on YouTube land in this fragrance community, this is something for you that you should have. These are ingredients that will last you a very long time. A very, very long time. It possibly could last you years, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to show you how to make some bread and flour, sugar, baking powder, and coconut milk are essential items that you need that last a long period of time, months. This coconut could last a year in your cabinet, okay? This type of coconut uh, milk in this, in this can can last years. Maybe a year. I don't know. Possibly. I've seen them last a year. Baking powder. You guys know this shit lasts. And this is organic sugar. See how brown it is? It's not really white. It's got a little brown to it. All right. And my girl is good for doing that. Getting like organic shit. She loves organic shit. You know, shit that lasts a long time. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to show you how to make this bread. All right. And this is a flavorful type of pita bread. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your flour. So this will last us months. And we can eat off of this flour for months. Plus we got a bunch, I don't know if you guys can see it, but a bunch of canned goods in here. That would last us months and we can feed off of it. So we got... Four more can no shit no twelve more cans of coconut milk. Alright, and she's got different kinds. But they all they're all gonna last. See? She's got this kind of coconut milk. And it doesn't matter because coconut milk is coconut milk. Doesn't matter. You can have either or. So she's got a bunch of coconut milk, canned beans, soups, all kind of shit. So if need be, if I need to stay in this house and not go anywhere. I could stay in this house for months. All right. What you're going to need is a rolling pin, a board to roll your stuff out, or you can roll it out on your counter, coconut milk, baking powder, a uh, three fourths cup of sugar, and two cups of flour. All right. So my girl loves this, man. And hopefully you guys will love it too. You know, it's a little, the bread is a little sweet, so it goes good with anything peanut butter. Jelly, just regular butter, jam. It goes good with preserves. So you get two cups of flour. And then, you know, you can just measure the cup out. Whatever cup you have. Eight ounces. You can measure it out. Two cups of flour. So I just do two full coffee cups of flour. All right? I can do a little heaping. That's fine, too. You guys can see that. All right? And this is just me making this bread because this is... This bread is like something both me and my girl love. Why? Because she eats it with like, I'll show you what she eats it with. She loves to eat it with like this, um, this homemade jam. Did she, oh, did she eat it all? Oh no, like this stuff here. It's, this is from Montana. Rocky Mountain Wild Huckleberry Syrup. This is like some organic shit that she gets from like the farmer's market that her mom got her from Montana. And she gets some jam. So you put the flour in two cups of flour. And then you go ahead and put your sugar in. All your dry ingredients is fine. You can. It doesn't matter how you put it in. You can just all put it in whenever, however. Then your baking powder. All right. You put like a half a teaspoon or half a spoon of baking powder. Just want a little bit. This honestly gives it a, a, a certain baking taste. And helps it kind of rise a little. And then you take your coconut milk. This is also for the flavor and the sweetness. And I want you guys to look at how thick this coconut milk is. See? It's almost like a thickness like, like cold grease. But it's not. So it's thick on the top. And if you come out with it, you'll see that it starts to become like more like juice. There's the juice and all the lick, the, the thickness of it. Try 
Try to get most of that out because that's nothing but flavor. Now, what you want to do is you want to start stirring it. And that's all you need. That's it. The sugar. And if you want it sweeter, you can put more sugar. But I like mine just normal. Just normal. Not too sweet. Not too not sweet. I like it right in the middle. So then you start doing this. Oh, let me get another cup of um another cup of uh, flour because you need the flour to knead the bread. Right? You gotta knead the bread. So you're gonna get a little bit more flour just to powder your board and keep your hands from being sticky. So now you flip this cutting board this way so it holds still. Now all I'm doing is I'm trying to get this bread to become one, to become a big ass clump. And it's working. It's working. It's it's trying to become one big clump. Okay? I don't really need this, but I was going to use it, but don't really need it. All you need is a spoon and maybe your hand. This is good just to scrape it off the spoon, but now it's becoming one one big heaping mass of flour. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my hand now. I wash my hand, but my hands are I don't know if you guys know about my hands, but my hands are real manly like they got, they got like stains and shit on my hands from work. But I know they're clean because I wash them. So I take the flour and I rub them all over my hands, right? Then I usually just get up in there, a little bit of flour, and then I dig in there, right? And I start kneading the bread. And I'm going to show you guys how to knead bread real quick. Okay? So now, it's mostly becoming one big heaping thing of flour. All right? So then... Take whatever I have in there, and this is how you knead the bread. All right? Hands get sticky, put a little flour on it. Not going to hurt. All right? So watch how I knead the bread. I bring it in, but I forgot to put flour on my cutting board too. So I'm just grabbing from this cup right here. All right? Grabbing from the cup, put it on the cutting board. All right? Knead the bread. It's going to be a little sticky, so whenever it gets sticky, just grab some flour, put it on your hands to get it powdery, and then knead the bread again. You're going to knead this bread until it becomes one whole ball of bread. Becoming sticky, a little flour on your hand on the bread. All right, flip it, smack it up, rub it down, do whatever you got to do to get it knead it perfectly all right a little bit more still a little sticky it's it's becoming a nice ball now see there you go now you can see that i'm actually making it into a nice little ball turn flip Flip it, push down, flip it, push down, flip it over, push down. Every time it gets sticky, a little bit of flour. Until you've actually kneaded it into a nice little ball. Or a big ball. Or how much you make, depending on the batch. Put it on the cutting board. Now, you don't want to knead it too much because you knead it too much, then your bread will become too tough to eat, too hard. So now I'm going to start, since I'm almost done here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, how I cook it. All right. And I'm going to turn you to the stove so you guys can see. Let's see if I can get you over here. That's the pan I have right there that I'm going to use. So now, I got it, and I'm still kneading it, right? Let me see if I can put you here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm still kneading it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the bowl, and I'm just going to grab what I need. So I put it back in the bowl, the whole thing, 
and I just grab what I need as I go a little bit okay now turn my heat up on this thing here let me get the spatula because I'm gonna need it to flip it and get a little flour put it on the cutting board make it into a ball and this is where your, your rolling pin comes in handy this is where you need to roll on because you want to get it um, depending on how you like it, you can have it a little thick. I like mine a little flat, like pita bread, kind of like pita bread. All right. Now you see my stove is starting to, my pan is starting to smoke a little bit. You want to try to get it to a level heat, hot enough to cook it, but not so hot that you burn it. But in the beginning, you want to get that motherfucker really hot because you want to get that pan to have a consistency of heat through the pan. So that's actually you can you can get it as round as you want, right? But that's that's pretty good. I like that. I put it in the pan, no grease, nothing, just a plain hot pan that you know that that's nonstick, all right? Now here's another way you can do this, all right? You can you can actually even it out. That one was like it wasn't even, like you know I didn't make it in a perfect ball. So what you can do when you want to in time comes, you can take the whole roll and roll it out. All that dough that I had, you can take the whole thing, roll it out, right? Make it thick. The thinner, to me, is the better. You can make it thick, a thicker, you can have more bite to it. Or you can take a thing like this and you can have a perfect, nice, round size ball, all right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm looking at it, and this is, what, this is what I'm looking for in the pan. So I'm looking for the little bubbles while the, while the stove is hot, flipping it. Now I flipped it too early, and if you guys can see that, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and flip it back, just like that, and I'll show you what it looks like. See, I got that, that's red hot down there, it's real hot. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It's getting a little color on it now. Getting a little color on it. And let me get the butter because I love eating this shit with butter, man. This shit is fucking great. I actually do have butter out. My girl has that organic butter, which is no different than regular butter. It actually tastes like real butter. And then you can see, you see how the brown color on it is? Check that shit out. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. All right. Want some brown color on it. Yeah, this one I made it a little too thick. So in this batch, I know I got to make it a little thin. So when I roll it out, I'm going to roll it out a little bit thinner than what I've been doing. Because that's actually too thick. Now my pan is actually starting to smoke real bad. So I know my heat is up way too high. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I don't want it to burn and get black. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it's starting to get a little black right here. I don't want it that black. I want it nice and brown. So this, this is getting close. You open it, you can see it's almost done in the inside. So, damn, that's good. It's still, still a little doughy, but it's good. There we go. Kind of a little too black, but it's still really good. Really good color. Get my plate, put it on the plate. Go ahead and take this off. Now, whenever your pan gets too much flour in it, I don't know if you guys can see the flour in there, all you do is get like a napkin or a paper towel, bring it to the sink, and just wipe it off. And you got a clean pan again. Your pan is going to be clean and it'll still be hot. It won't burn your next batch. So, I do it again. Roll it out. You don't have to be perfect if you don't want to be. You know, if you want to have it, if you're OCD and you want it uniform, then all your all your pita breads or your coconut pita breads coming out the same, then yeah, you can do whatever you need to do. Now, what I like to do with this motherfucker, my girl likes to put jam and shit on there. I just like butter on my shit. 
plain ass fucking butter. This is what I do. Take some butter. Spread it on this motherfucker. Like that. And eat this bit. God damn that shit good. And that's like a snack. This is like a sweet snack. More sugar. Don't put too much sugar. Because you fuck it up. No more than a third of a cup of sugar. Or you can try to get close to a half a cup. That's a little too much though. Mm. Beautiful, man. Fucking delicious. A little bit of butter on that bit. You could put strawberry jam. Peanut butter on this bitch. And this is just something that me and her do. To just like. Have, this is like making cookies. And putting it in a jar. And this shit lasts like a week. You can refrigerate this. And you can pull it out. Heat it up. Still be good man. Still be good. Real good. So, I still got this much to go, and I get two, I did two so far. One, two. It ain't nothing but flour, pretty much. See, that's kind of thin, but it's still like pita bread. Like a nice little bread, a little dessert, and this shit will last you forever. You know, go for the flour, man. If, you, if you're going through hard times and you know people are going to be quarantined, go for the flour, man. Go for the flour. Let me make a big one. Put this one in there. A little flour. Roll that shit out. Coconut milk, two cups of flour, sugar, and baking powder. Is it baking powder or baking soda? Which one is it? I'll tell you which one it is. Baking powder. Alright. And oh my god, this shit is good. Good. Nice little healthy dessert. Not too sugary. Not too bad. I sit here and eat this shit all day long. I'll eat this before I eat a fucking cookie or a cake. I'm going to put some peanut butter on this one. Let me get some peanut butter. Show you guys. Just to, just to fuck with you guys. Check this out. Get some peanut butter on this motherfucker. I could put some jelly on that bit. Oh my god. That's better than putting it on a piece of fucking bread. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, you know what would go good with this shit? Some fucking Nutella. That's what I should have got. Some fucking Nutella, man. Mm. Now, this is the what the fuck is supposed to look like. Check that out. See that? Ooh. That cooked up just nice. Just perfect. All right, y'all. This is my video. Hope you guys learned something. Help you out. If you're in quarantine, you always gonna have something to eat. If you have some flour, some coconut milk, some sugar, and some baking powder. All of these ingredients will last you a long, long time. Best part about this is you don't really need Nutella, peanut butter, jam. Just the bread and some water, man. Just bread and some water. Bread and water, baby. Check out how that cooked up. Beautiful. This one's a little thicker. This one was the thinnest one. But the thin ones are good too. All depend on how you like it. You want something thick in your mouth or you want something thin in your mouth? <laughs> you boy, up, man. Peace the fuck out, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll do more cooking videos later.